call this meeting together. Shelby County Supervisor this Tuesday, June 18th. Do any conflict of interest on the agenda today, guys? None. Any changes to the agenda, Mark? No, sir. Do I have a motion to approve the agenda as presented? Motion. Second. Motion by Charlie, second by Bryce. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Chance look over the minutes of June 11th. Any updates, changes of that, Mark? No. Do I have a motion to approve the June 11th minutes as presented? Motion. Second. Motion by Bryce, second by Charlie. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. A chance to go over to claims. Any questions on that? None. None. None of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> None. Okay. Do I have a motion to approve the claims as presented? Motion. Second. Motion by Bryce, second by Charlie. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Next on the agenda, environmental health um, department report. Luke, good morning. Good morning. Hi, Luke. Been staying above Thanks. water? Yep, we have been. <laughs> okay, literally. Literally. <laughs> Uh, I just want to stop up for a quarterly <coughs> report. Um, we've been kind of busy with some of that storm damage and stuff. Um, had quite a few homeowners calling um, some of these acreages that really had a lot of damage. You know, they had a lot of heavy equipment out in their yards, dozers and excavators. Oh, yeah. And the last thing on their minds is where their septic is, you know. And so we've had a couple call and we've actually gone out and done essentially a property inspection where we dig up the distribution box make sure that's okay and then do the stress test on the lateral field and stuff um, just to kind of help them out to, you know when they go to rebuild you know you can look back up your existing sewer it is going to work for you so that's good yeah um had you had any <coughs> major issues with that no well we got one we're working with i talked to the homeowner yesterday um <coughs> they did clip the tank and so there would be a new tank would have to be put in and the dozer was right on the lateral field and with the teeth marks on the bucket they were dragging and those laterals got nicked a couple times um still worked but it was kind of advised that you know a whole new system be put in can fema help them with that um the one yesterday that the gal i was talking to they're actually going through their insurance company to okay. take care of that so okay because as we're finding out and i'm going to talk about that a little later but FEMA is mostly to help the individuals, their house, the personal, as you well know, day to day. So I thought, you know, something like that. Yeah, I haven't heard anything. She just mentioned okay. insurance, and that was it. Okay. So well, it's good um, to have insurance for that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, been keeping busy. We got a lot of new septic systems going in. A lot of new perk tests going out. Um, and property inspections have also been pretty busy. Despite the market, you know, with the interest rates and everything. <coughs> so. Um, a couple weeks ago, I went down to Leon, Iowa, and took a well plugger course, and so I was certified in well plugging now. So, um, being a county, uh, being with the county, you don't necessarily have to have that license, but it's just it's good course information and stuff. So, learned quite a bit down there with Eric Day, with the DNR. So. And we do a lot of those. We do. And the farmers are very good about plugging up their old wells. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah. so. um, <coughs> as far as passports go, this is just kind of fiscal year. Um, I kind of ran through some rough numbers. Um, roughly about 250 new passports here this, this year, fiscal year. Um, and that's just new passports. Um, with renewals, there was about another 200 on that. So it's a lot of people getting passports and travel. So what does that compare to like a year ago? Um, this has been our about our busiest year. Um, trying to think too well with COVID and everything, right. nobody was traveling, yeah. so numbers were way down. But right. um, when I first started in 2022, we started to notice a lot of people coming in, you know, just opening up travel again. And so we got bombarded <laughs> last year also with them, but, which is good. It gets people out and mm -hmm. yeah. out and about. Um, able to handle them all right with your other duties oh yeah yeah most of the time um, I just try to inform people appointments are best you know yep. um, that way you're I can office. kind of move stuff around so sure. I haven't had an issue with it so Good. Um, as far as budget goes for end of the year we are going to come in under budget um, good man mm -hmm. and then uh, <clears throat> 
with all the grants to county fees, I kind of, this is just kind of overall, but um, for the overall budget, that's taken out ARPA, grants to county, we have Terry's health insurance and all that in there. Um, so we were just right around 130,000 for the year and uh, with all of the rep, you know, septic permits, property inspections, well, and all that stuff. Um, Grants County admin fees, um, we were right at about 60,000. Okay. So, great, but other than that, it's been busy and we're out perk testing today. And <laughs> so, some warm for you. Yeah, <laughs> gonna go look at a well to be put in here today also. So busy, busy, busy time of the year. So. Have you had any um, other uh, issues or concerns out there from the tornado victims besides the um, septic and laterals? Is there any other issues you're hearing? There hasn't been. Um, we have seen quite a few people just shock chlorinating their wells just because of all that rain yeah. we had and we had such a runoff it didn't soak in right away. So um, a lot of people are doing shock chlorinations to kind of help combat that, you know, with the bacteria that was getting in there and stuff. So. Okay. But okay. other than that, not too much with the well side of it. So just mainly with the septics and like I said, you know, heavy equipment got drove over it and that's yeah, not a good thing. I can see that, especially if people when they're not thinking of it or don't know exactly where they're at. Yeah, exactly. So. <clears throat> okay. Other than that, that's all okay. I got for Thanks you Luke. this morning. Thanks Luke. Mm -hmm. Appreciate Thank you. you. Good job. Next on the agenda, Todd Deleen, Shelby County Chamber Report. Morning, Todd. Good, Good morning. morning. How are you this day? Well, not too bad. Good. It's my wonderful third Tuesday of the month, which is full of meetings. So, <laughs> um, so FEMA and the SBA uh, were in our building through yesterday, <coughs> and they've left. I'm watching for press releases from FEMA as to when they might be back. Because you know, I saw they were advertising in the paper that they were actually trying to hire locals to mm -hmm. do some work for them. So is that mostly for appeals? You think? At this point, that's where we are. Um, I think everybody who needed to meet with them has met with them, whether it was through the open house or through our office. And uh, so now they're all getting their responses back, and uh, we do need to let them know that they can appeal any decision, you know. Um, some of the folks from FEMA, I was talking to them and they said, your, your folks just haven't been through enough of this stuff to understand that they can appeal anything we say. So that's really what we're, we're the point we're at now, is just appealing any decisions that are made. So, um, so like I said, I'll watch for press releases as to when they'll be back. And as soon as we know, We'll put out some social media notices that, that they're back in our offices. But um, also, just a few other items: um, grant applications for healthcare education. So this is through MERTU, and you can um, they're they're going to accept these applications through the fall semester for the fall semester of this year. It can be for either new entry level or advanced training certifications. And just give Ruth a call at MERTU 712-755-4316, and she'll take care of them. Um, also, now the Harlan Theater is again doing their, um, you know, summer movies. So Tuesdays and Wednesdays, and uh, this this week is Kung Fu Panda. So if you haven't seen Kung Fu Panda, make sure you get over to the theater. Um, we do have a blood drive on the 24th at MERTU. Again, give Ruth a call at 755-4316 to schedule an appointment. It's going to be from 8 to 2 on Monday. And then we have three um, ambassador visits and ribbon cuttings coming up. Uh, tomorrow we're going to go over to the Elkhorn City Pool House. That's going to be at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And they redid that thing through the winter and they got it looking pretty good. So we're going to go over and do a ribbon cutting for that. I just had them work right on it. Yeah, yeah. And then um, Friday, June 28th, Hamilton Financial Services, they just moved their location. They're now at 1407 Garfield, so over there by the, by the hospital, where the uh, where behavioral health used to be. Oh, down there? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah down by Bats? Yep. At 10 o'clock, we're going to do a ribbon cutting for them. And then we have ours, we have one coming up here in a few weeks, July 12th, as our annual fairgrounds uh, ribbon cutting, and that'll be at 9 o'clock on Friday the 12th. 
Other than that, uh, we have our board meeting today. We'll be going over our uh, fiscal year 25 budget, a couple other things, and then that's kind of it for the chamber. So, all right. Okay. Thanks, Todd. Thanks, Todd. Thank, Thank you, sir. <coughs> any agenda, supervisor, committee reports, or any updates? Uh, I have nothing. Anything? A little storm damage at Mantino. It took about a day with some volunteers to clean up the trees, but other than that, our parks fared the weather pretty well. And um, yeah, we're lucky. Yeah, it dodged a lot of those yes. too. Didn't it? Yeah. <coughs> the boat ramp is fixed. The, uh, the engineer okay. that the engineer that built it, the company built it, stood behind it. So awesome. That yeah. was good. Yeah. Okay. So other than that, I'm. Okay, I'm going to give a <coughs> tornado recovery update, uh, kind of what's been going on the last couple weeks. First of all, I'm going to go kind of through my notes here, so bear with me a little bit. Um, last Tuesday, I, Alex, um, EMA Director, Jordan, assistant um, from the county, were invited to meet with Governor Reynolds, Homeland Security, and FEMA officials on recovery efforts from the April 26th tornado. We spent a great deal of time reviewing immediate and long-term measures needed to assist farmers suffering from the tornado destruction, mostly focusing in on what's needed for disaster aid, because we had a state, we had a federal, and we had a USDA declaration um, to assist these people. We looked at exceptions to existing policies and executive orders to address urgent needs and highlighted gaps to be corrected through legislative action. We also provided information on a disaster relief programs in other states that could be used as a model for potential approaches here in Iowa. We presented a four-page information paper that had a lot of information, not just on the unmet needs but solutions of how we can get there at the state and federal level. These unmet needs we have identified that would greatly aid in the recovery efforts here in Shelby County. They are 0% interest bridge loans, uh, a program that would go out four to five years. That's what we keep hearing from the landowners because again we have these declarations and all of them were insured, but with today's economy, they're underinsured. And here they're asked to go in debt more, because they could at least get some 0% interest loans out there, which none exist out there unless SBA has one program for one year, but you have to be denied from your local bank to qualify, which is another area that needs to be addressed if there's a declaration in place. Um, again, that's the second one, waiver of commercial lender denial requirements when federal, state, and USDA disaster, disaster declarations are implemented, just what I talked about. Income support programs for farmers who lose revenue due to disaster, natural disasters. We lost 40,000 head of hogs in this county displaced, not died, but displaced because 16 hog confinements were totally destroyed. That amounts to between $125,000 and $130,000 a month leaving our county <coughs> not coming in. Um, so we asked if there could be some kind of support for these people until they get their barns up and going. It's, it's funny, or not funny, but it doesn't seem right when a lot of them have employees and they lay those employees off and they qualify for uh, unemployment at 65%, but the owners qualify for nothing, and there's a disaster out there. You know? None of this was brought on to themselves. Uh, grant programs for replacement and repair of underinsured um, buildings and infrastructure. Insured farmers receive adequate support to restore their operation without increasing debt due to natural disasters. Another one is financial help needed for debris, tree, and building cleanup and removal around farmsteads, which is their headquarters for their farming operation. Presently, the only financial assistance for, is for field cleanup, yet 90% of the cleanup is focused in the farmstead area, which is another common sense thing that needs to be addressed 
Um, they won't help with any assistance cleaning up, and a lot of these guys got tens of thousands of dollars in cleanup costs, but yet they would help pay for assistance out in the field, but yet a great community came in and the high school kids helped clean that up, saved the government some money with the cleanup, but yet they helped nothing around the place. Alex and I also attended um, what they called the first Ag Recovery Center held in Trainer last Friday, hoping to learn more about programs or, or more that could help address the previously met, uh, mentioned unmet needs. Um, they kind of promoted this as more help for the agriculture community, community which we were focusing in on. There were nine resource booths set up there. We had 14 booths set up at our open house here in Harlem. They were the same booths, almost the same people, and I don't know about Alex, but we learned nothing new, nothing. Um, I asked five questions at every booth, looking for areas to help um, with these five unmet needs. Um, I got the same answer, nobody was able to help us. And we were there approximately two and a half hours and the Iowa Extension guy heard, overheard me talking to the USDA and he asked me if I was a farmer and I said, well, I'm not an active farmer, but I live out on the farm. And he said, well, you're the first that's been here today. They didn't have very good participation at all. Um, <clears throat> With that said, I continue to work with Governor Reynolds and her staff, have reached out to Senator Grassley, Senator Ernst, and Congressman Veedstra on these issues and recommendations. All I've gotten so far is that they are looking into it at the federal level. The governor's office has reached, did reach out to me Friday. They said they're having these talks on a daily basis, and we'll get back to us again this week. Hopefully we can get together. I know she strongly was throwing around the idea with the zero interest drones, so which would be one thing that would help a lot. The state can only do so much, and the feds can only do so much. But I'm going to say, from what I've experienced, and Alex, you can add in on this if you want. But the state declaration did nothing for our county. There, we had two people that maybe they looked at, and I checked with West Central last week. Nobody in our county got any financial help from that. So it needs to be updated, um, need to incorporate more people. Again, we didn't have any incorporated areas hit, but out in our rural area, it really shed a light on the inadequacies that are out there. So with that, you can kind of tell from my comments here, it, it's a very frustrating process, but yet I can't imagine the frustration the victims are going through trying to find, you know, financial aid. Because I had several of them come up to me at the open house, and again, they said we have state, federal, USDA declarations for disaster relief. Where's this relief? And I don't have a good answer for them yet. So it's, it's kind of sad. Does anybody have any questions or comments on this subject? <coughs> Alex, do you have anything to add? You can come on up here. Yeah. If anything I missed? No, I think I think you pretty much covered everything. Um, I think the only thing I would add is that the um, it's kind of getting to the point. Right? You touched on the frustration of a lot of people with everything going on. Um, a lot of the cleanup and things have has been done, and um, one of the things that I'm concerned about and want to focus on moving forward is the mental health piece of it, just because people are going to have time to sit, Absolutely. and it's really going to hit them what happened. Um, it there has. are yeah, and there are state um, there are state resources and local resources that people can um, get some help, somebody to talk to, um, and just to check up basically. Uh, whether it's over the phone, in person, or whatever, um, at no cost. And we have those in, the information on that on our, our Facebook page yeah, and thank you. on the county website. But um, 
take care of your mental health too. That's the only thing that, because it's, I mean, I know Steve and I, if I had air, I'd pull it out trying to deal with all this stuff and I'm not even <laughs> one affected, you know? I know. So I don't want people to get discouraged and everything. And <clears throat> I feel for them. I really yeah. do. So uh, that's the only thing I have. Bryce, do you have anything to add? I mean, you're living through it. Yeah, just there's really nothing out there. If you're not insured, you know, if you have insurance, there's nothing really that the feds or the state are going to do for you. So. Yeah, and everything I'm talking about <clears throat> that we're trying to get is for the underinsured. We're not looking for things above and beyond or equal to it, just mm -hmm. the underinsured. I know one one gentleman out there put up a, a shop a year and a half ago, brand new shop. So he had it insured for just what he put it up for. But you know how the last five years have gone with inflation, now that same shop for them to put the exact same thing up is $100,000 more mm -hmm. that he's underinsured. That's one building. Mm -hmm. And you know, it really didn't do anything wrong. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I know, um, I will also say that after Steve and I had our, we went to the Ag Recovery Center, um, I met with the Pot County Coordinator, Doug Reed, and just kind of talked to him. Because we have our own uh, struggles in Shelby County with this whole process, and they have something different with Menden and having an incorporated area hit. Um, and it's not just this is what the shortfall is. There's a lot of other shortfalls yeah. throughout the whole system. So um, we're going to work together with as a region for emergency managers and come up with a priority list mm -hmm. of things that need to get fixed and can, we can do better on and submit that up through our channel. Um, not to compete with anything any other county is doing, but if you come at it from a regional perspective, it can yep. help yep. gain some traction than right. each person coming individually. So. Plus, we focus most so much on the rural because that's what we're dealing with. If there was an incorporated area and he's dealing with the towns, those issues need to be right to the forefront too. Yeah, and you know his <coughs> corporate areas are feeling the same struggle as ours right. are, yep. that, um, but they don't. There aren't as many. So, right. Um, we're just trying to all work together in it. Yep. So we'll keep us updated. We'll do. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Yep. Thanks. thanks, Alex. You guys, have anything else? No. Just no. want to thank you again for the time you're putting in. I mean, you're going way over and above. Yeah, you're doing a good job. No and, thanks. Uh, you're the right man for the job. You're gonna you're gonna make changes. There's no doubt about it. So it takes everybody, so it takes a village so. to do this. But mm -hmm. when you know there's a problem out there, we need to bring it to, to the people that can say yes. You mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. So hopefully appreciate we it. keep the feet to the fire here. <clears throat> appreciate your time. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Any other questions or comments on this? Okay. Th thanks, Bryce. Secondary roads report. Morning there. Good morning. Chris? Yes. Morning. How is everybody this morning? Good. Good. Very well. Good. You want to introduce your partner? I'll do that at the end. If I okay. Can. <laughs> we'll do the official business first. I thought maybe I'll... you just might bring him up here and let him do the <laughs> yeah. Not yet. <laughs> I, won't do that. I won't do that to him yet. <laughs> we made it two weeks and a day and he's still here. So. You don't want him running away? No, today. don't <laughs> run away. <laughs> so first off, we have two right away uh, permits uh, looking for approval. First one's regional water and the second one's FMCTC. Um, we have insurance, all the required stuff from both of them. Um, regional water wants to put a water line in underneath F32 so they'll bore that as required. Um, a new service for another residence. And FMCT will do the same thing, they want to put some fiber optic in, bore under the roads, culverts, etc., etc. Just as usual, won't affect anybody. Okay. Anybody else, so I'd like to, I'd approve those and I'd like to seek approval from the three of you also. Okay. If we need to do them separate, yeah, we some they're separate entities. No, you can do it. no we can do okay. it together. Okay. Or if you, you have any have questions, any questions on, on them or, no. or any of these storm related? No. <clears throat> have you had much for storm related? I have not. Okay. As of yet, okay. anyway, and I would have thought it would have come through, so. Okay. Okay. So these all meet um, yes. our permit your per requirements. Your permit. Okay. Do I have a motion to approve the rural water and FNCTC application? Motion. Second. Motion by Charlie, second by Bryce. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Okay. Okay, next thing, just a few quick updates on a few things. Um, bridge crew has been busy here. The weather's been been adequate to keep working. Um, 
beams were set here. They'll just finish those up today, so they'll start decking on the, the new structure we're working on. So hopefully that'll keep progressing quickly, and that should be opened up here, I would say, within the next couple of weeks, weather dependent. Right. Um, hopefully we don't get a bunch of rain tonight. Mm -hmm. yeah. We'll see what happens and what that does to schedules, but they're moving right along on that structure, so that'll be good to get that one knocked out, mm -hmm. and then we can move to the move to the next one and keep going. We're already into June. <coughs> the year is the year is moving right along. So yes, it is. Um, excavators. We have one more or less on both sides of the county. One is down south of Corley, uh, working on a pipe, and the other one is up in Grove, working on pipes. So trying to get a few things. We've had them moved around. Just a little stuff with storms. Not not a lot. Um, more repairs that we needed to keep moving on. So, trying to keep those two separated and, and just move through the north and the south half and, and try and do a little bit in a lot of different areas to spread it out and, and get some things completed. So, that's where we're going with those. Um, we're almost to July 1st, so with the new budget year, um, look at stockpiling and or direct hauling some rock to the roads again. Yep. See what we can get touched up or get put back in the piles. We've been pulling out of them pretty hard yeah. from the from the rain and everything else. Um, the side road ditches and stuff, looks like a pretty good job getting those corrected. Hopefully tonight Yeah. doesn't yeah. I hope, interfere. Yeah. We'll find out. Yeah, another, I know. Four, another four inches of our rain control. might hurt it. So, um, yeah, trying to get edge ruts pulled in, filled in. You know, correct as much as we can. I know we need to do more. Um, each time we do one of those, it takes a substantial amount of rock also so there's only so yep. many we can yep. we can be really hard on at one time um, we are pulling in and reshaping Oak Road north of Nishna right now so that's the major um, north of Nishna okay yeah that's the major one it okay. was it was in I would say yeah. very poor shape as far as edge ruts so yep. trying to get that one pulled in recrowned um, reshaped and then the plan after that <coughs> hopefully We'll go down to Corley, like I think we talked earlier. We're going to go down and, right. and reclaim those roads, let them sit, and then stay boat will reseal them. Um, but after that, we'll start back on M56 north of Jacksonville, head south, and get as much of 56 done as we can, pulled in and reshaped. I hope all the way to down towards Marnie, but <clears throat> again, weather and or rock dependent. Right. We'll see how that goes. So. Um, Otherwise, normal blading on rock, and we have been trying to hit the dirt as best we can. Um, you know, I know people want to get down it and trying to get them at least right. passable or keep right. them, you know, mm -hmm. hold them generally okay so everybody can can move along. So, okay. Um, I was curious, I forgot to ask you at the last meeting the Irwin um, overlay, is that totally finished or do they have to come back or anything? It is done. Done. It just drove over yesterday. So yeah, it's done, and yeah, and they did get that spot north of Bryce's fixed on mm -hmm. Lynn also. So um, the two projects yet for this year is pavement marking and then slurry leveling on some different sections of pavement through the county. And I haven't heard anything as okay. far as starts on that. Okay. So then where are we at with the culvert and M16? <laughs> Um, <laughs> yeah, you know you can ask. Somebody <laughs> asked me uh, about that. Yeah, I do get people. Out I've had too. I've had two contractors <clears throat> out so far. I have to meet another one out there here this afternoon, just trying to get through options and or what you know they've seen more than I have as far as what could we do or what should you know in theory might be the best. So trying to get some options, um, see where we're at. It may go under the roadway. Um, and again, that's slated to be paved next year if we get everything turned so in and figured it, out. Does it flow like um, days like today? It stays it's there it's held. When it, uh, when it rose up, the bank slid off, deposited the dirt underneath it. Now it's continually held in the upright position. So it can only drain so far. Of course, all the water is still going down to the secondary tube, which is, which is fine if we yeah, do get a big... As long as we get it out of there. We do get a big big amount it'll still go south but um, yes yeah, so we're working on that something else I was going to talk you know we did talk about <coughs> FEMA apparently that since that is a federal aid highway FEMA does not apply to that roadway mm -hmm. um, there's ER funding that I'm looking into 
I've never been exposed, luckily. In the wait, wait, let's go back to that. What do you mean? It's the the feds won't back a federal. Rate. Since it's since it's a federal highway, FEMA does not cover cover federal routes. Hmm. So who does? That's when you go to this ER or emergency relief funding, which is separate from from FEMA. It's like FEMA, um, but you have to submit to that. And that goes across the state through the federal disaster area from that storm, whoever was affected. Those counties, same thing, under their paved routes or federal routes, if we can meet a certain criteria, which I believe is a million dollars, then we may be eligible for funding. Mm -hmm. So depending on what happens, and I'm trying to talk to people who have gone through it, see where we can go or what we need to do, um, well, let me know. We, we may or I may know not what be. your um, roadblocks are. Right. Yeah. And I said it would get this afternoon. Hopefully, I think maybe another idea or get a kind of a cost on this and see where where we're at as far as the scale. It's tough to turn anything in when you have no idea so what it's going to does, cost. Either. The fader, the state or federal declaration doesn't help move this along quicker. It just pushes that into the emergency bucket. relief. <laughs> Funding opens up, but you have just like the FEMA thresholds, mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. has to be met as far as amounts of work. Because it was also. caused through this event, right? <laughs> so it's it's another pot that just makes the pot bigger <clears throat> for thresholds, more or less. So I think they confuse the people and say we have all these programs out there to help you, but <laughs> when you get all done, there's no help. Most people no help. Forget, start. Just saying, heck with it. That's right. Uh, because there's so it's much hoops. paperwork. It's like a lot of things. Well, you can cover that. Well, we don't cover this, or we don't cover this, or we don't cover this. And pretty soon, well, you want five hundred dollars, and we can get it. They don't really cover. I mean, that's mm -hmm. they don't even help their own areas. They're they're in charge of. Right. So that's sixteen. And the pipe is a whole other thing. Either way, it'll have to be fixed, and it'll be fixed, and we'll move on whether we get any money out of it or not. It's to be seen. Yeah. But, so local taxpayers have to pay for it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'll come out of our our pot. So we'll see how it okay. pans out. Yep. But how many signs did we have damaged in the tornado? I don't know exactly. I think the last I heard was right around 150 or 160. How's the progress with those? We're still pecking along. I know there's route markers that are still down, um, and I think. I mean, most yeah. of the, the regulatory signs, you know, stop signs sure. and everything back up, or are back up, and then he was trying to get advisory signs up next. So I know route markers should be last. Okay. Um, and as we've talked, or I think we've talked, he's also on the bridge crew, so we're trying to, mm -hmm. you know, if they need him, we utilize him there, and then when we can release him, he's out signing. So mm -hmm. yep. trying to get all those placed back up also, and that's another thing, they're so spread out that. You know, if it was in a concentrated area, it'd be a little more slick. Right. But when you you do one and you drive mm -hmm. to get the next one. And Have you gotten any one. estimates on the M16, <clears throat> a range or anything? I do not. I mean, uh, we've gone anywhere from talking about concrete cast-in-place culverts to precast culvert to okay. if you had to go back to a multi-plate. The one today, uh, we sleep we uh, sleeved a pipe up north and that's the company that's coming today. They can take a new uh, plastic belt pipe, slide it through the old pipe, you grout it, uh, the difference in between them, you don't have to disturb the roadway. Right. And I think... It's like lining water and Yeah, lining and pipe. And I think if we can do something like that, I would rather it eliminates yeah. some other stuff. It just depends. Yeah. This is quite a large structure, so okay. see what they can provide. And it sounded positive on the phone, but until they see it, you know, know what they can do. When you get further down the road and you get some estimates, I'd like to have you send me an email and a summary of what's going on here and and about the federal government right. covering this, so I can pass this on. Yeah, no, that's fine. We can okay. kind of see. Yeah, and I know that's a deal too, which it is with a lot of things. Insurance is like for like. Um, Another county ran into a, an issue where they had a structure like we do. It's a multi-plate pipe. They had damage to it. it. This was under a rock road, so it was FEMA. It was not a federal aid road. Uh, <coughs> FEMA required that the structure be placed back 
exactly the same as it was. So they wanted to go back with the multi-plate where the county wanted to go to a, a precast culvert or a cast in place culvert. Mm -hmm. It would have been a better structure and lasted longer. Probably cheaper too. Yeah, or no more, probably. <laughs> yeah. Um, but that was an issue they ran into, was like for like. So do you put it back and you get your funding or do you make an improvement and you don't? Yeah. So it's another it's another hoop, just like everything else. So okay. hopefully better news this afternoon. I yeah. pers personally out throughout I'm thinking I'd rather go right now. Yep. But until we yeah. get more information, that's where okay. we're at. So can you get uh, monetary help from Hungry Canyons with that? No, because there is no erosion control in that structure or okay. grade control. I thought there might be. And that would only be uh, past the structure. Yep. So not on this. Okay. Which is, which yeah, they they've got funding, and I know Hungry Cannons has done quite a bit for us mm -hmm. previously on some structures and grade control. So that's another good outlet if you're doing a full structure or a new structure. Needs to be some help for this when it's a national. Natural disaster. Mm. It's it's interesting. <laughs> you know, you, you think the kind of government screwed up? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. But don't say there's all this help if there's not. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah that's it's, what it boils down it, to. It's know. good. It's a lot of good feeling, is what it is. And then, well, but you don't meet the criteria, so. Mm -hmm. Sorry, yeah, we not can't. feeling real good right now. Sorry, we can't help you. Well, yeah, I know the, the feeling rate drops. So, yeah, we left the we left the good information there for the end, I guess. But um, that's kind of what I have. If you don't have any more questions, I'll let Trevor come up. He's our new county assistant engineer, and I'll let him introduce himself. And morning, Trevor. Morning. morning. I am Trevor Guyett. I am Chris in the Shelby County new assistant engineer. Um, I come out of Logan, so I'm not too far away. I'm excited to be working in the county here, and just a pleasure to see where we go from here. Well, so, welcome. Uh, welcome. Thank you. Got a place and everything? In Logan. In Logan. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. So, still, still traveling, but yeah. I'm Logan. Yeah. So. All good. Welcome aboard. Thank you. Appreciate you yeah. stepping up here, and we, we definitely could use the help. Chris needs the help. Yes. So. Mm -hmm. yep. Yes. Uh, you have a good teacher here, too. Right. Yeah. No, you do. We'll try. Yep. <laughs> no, I think I think he's ready to, to learn and to go and to, to help out and yep. and do everything he can. So I think it'll it'll work out great, and I'm I'm pleased. So yep. don't yeah, don't let don't let her overwhelm you. <laughs> so if anybody okay. calls in, Trevor may answer the phone or okay. maybe talk to him. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Good luck. Yep. Good. Thank you. Thanks, John. Thank nice you. to meet you. Uh, Reappropriation resolution, Mark. After almost eight years, uh, these late season amendments, I was looking for solutions and talking to other auditors. And the state Iowa code allows you, uh, in this case, uh, risk management because of insurance bills. We budgeted a year and a half in advance. The insurance rates went up, and we only went over like two thousand dollars, and uh, a little less than two thousand dollars. GIS, we budget for that before we get the bills, before we know what it's going to be. They can give us estimates. And we were less than $2,000 over on the GIS department also. And I found from other auditors, and thank you for their assistance. Thank them, I thank them for their assistance. Uh, as long as it's the same fund and the same service area, you can just take it from one fund or one department and give it to another, as long as those criteria are met. So building and grounds had 49,000 for maintenance, and I lowered that to 45,000, and gave 2,000 to risk management and GIS. I know it's just details, but uh, mm -hmm. that keeps them too from going over yeah. budget. And that, so it's a wash. Yeah. Okay. It's not a budget amendment, it's a reappropriation of funds. Okay, and that will get us through June 30th? Yes. Okay. Gentlemen, have any other questions? No. no. We have a motion to approve Resolution 2024-0023, uh, Appropriation Funds for the 23-24 fiscal year. Motion. Second. Motion by Charlie, second by Bryce. Any other questions? All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried.
Thank you. Thanks, Mark, for putting that together. Mm -hmm. Simple things. Next on the agenda, um, fiscal year 2025 appropriations for county departments. <coughs> is, you know, Mark can talk about this more, but this is our final resolution of the year is to allow appropriations for the upcoming budget, correct? Yeah. Each department has budgeted uh, the budgets that the uh, budget director put forth and the supervisors put forth and signed and approved. Uh, this actually appropriates those to each department. Right. Yep. And it will be in the minutes and there's copies in my office if anybody's yep. this interested. This is the exact budget that we approved. Yeah. Right. And, and Taryn did check it, it all over. broke down by department. Yep. Okay. And that will be included in the minutes. Yes. For the permanent record. Okay. Any other questions or comments on that? No. Okay. Thanks for putting that together, Mark. Do I have a motion to approve the <coughs> appropriations for the county departments for fiscal year 2025? Motion. Second by Bryce, second by Charlie. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Anything else you guys have? Anybody from the public? Okay, meeting adjourned. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.